Sean Cruz, bravo, you've done your homework, you went out and recruited. Let's go ahead and get it out of the way. You got Mr. Number One, George South, a legend, a bona fide legend in the wrestling business. You went and got the monster, Brad Branson. But let's go ahead and get this out of the way and cut, cut to the chase. Before social media made George South seem like a hardcore legend, we already knew this. Because reality is, in the last two decades, there's nobody spilt more of George's blood throughout the United States than me, his wrestling son. I've spilled his blood in Georgia, in Florida, in North Carolina, all over the country. Because George thought I was going to be the one he passed the torch to. And then he realized... Aaron's a little bit sicker upstairs than I am. I was never this violent and this sadistic. I was never willing to push it to this level. And then you got Brad Branson, like you said, a former student, because he couldn't take it, because he used to be part of a production team. What did he produce? I don't know. But I put a battery in his back and said, I'm going to make you a monster. But the thing is, he wasn't a monster. He was just another cartoon character just like you, underdog. I tried to make you something. Your best years in your career was part of Team Pitbull as one of my brothers. You've been one of my brothers a long time, Sean. We've teamed and we've fought all over. Now, before we allowed you and Team Pitbull, superhero, how did that turn out for you? Seems like I may have broke your ribs. Man, I've made you quit before. Mister, never give up. See, while you're trying to convince everyone that you're a superhero and you're for the people, the reality is you're not a superhero, Sean. Because the reality is there's only two kinds of people in this world. There's people like me who were champions everywhere they go. And then there's people like you who are participation award winners. And I know you just got this new next level pro wrestling shows from me to championship. But let's be realistic. The only reason you're that champion right now was I was booked somewhere else that night. I will be returning to next level. And it depends. Do I go for their heavyweight championship? Or do I continue to break your heart like I have for years and take that championship too? Here's the thing, Sean. Friday, May 13th, Pembroke Rescue Squad. I get it. I know you better than anyone else. I'm going to let you sell your little capes and your little masks and your underdog paraphernalia. But when that bell rings and you hear Johnny Cash, you know Team Pitbull's about to kick your... Well, you know what I've always done for all these years. I'll see you then.